OK, so here's the problem. So you might have created a special lettering for one of your projects, um, and you have to start making some text with it. So very often, you will just you know, simply select some of the different letters, and copy them, and drag them, and start trying to make your text you know, manually. Well, this is one way to do things. Let's try to do it differently. Now, let's just load a cool new tool that's called FontSelf. So Font Self Maker is a new add-on that you can now uh, bring to Photoshop. And basically, the, the workflow is pretty simple. You just start by selecting each of the different letters you want to bring, and then you press a button. And what Font Self is doing is taking each of these letters and actually turning them into an actual font. And as you can see, in just one click, I have here all the different letters that I created that are automatically matched to the char key, character key. And then I can just type Hello world. And that's it. I can now just press install. This is going to be hello, my hello world fonts. And now let's type some text. So I type my, I choose my text. I type my face. And then I select my fonts. And there we go. In just under a minute, I created a font. So if my text change, changes, it can be anything. So that's it. That's the power of font self in Photoshop. Well, maybe that's not it. You know, because in Photoshop, sometimes you do stuff that are not just, you know, black and white vector shapes. So let's try to see another example. Cool. This is something really nice we found on Behance. So, wouldn't it be cool if we could just turn these into actual fonts? And again, as you can see here, these are different layers, and each layer is a different um, uh, bitmap. So let's try something. Let's try to switch to the bitmap superpower mode in font self. I selected all my different uh, letters, I press a button, and now font self is crunching. And there we go. Again, I can just type my text directly, and that's it. I can just export the fonts. And my system file. I can just open it directly from Photoshop. I will install it. And since we're using some technologies that are already available on any Mac, I can go straight ahead to a Mac app and use the fonts. And the cool thing is that you can even mix traditional vector fonts with some unique bitmaps. So that's about it. This is Font Self of Photoshop, and it's coming in November. So I hope you enjoy it, and stay tuned, because we have much more cool stuff to show you. 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 Cool stuff to show you.